my loves, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I'm Ravina Singh, a home management consultant, and I love sharing my tips and ideas here on my channel. Now, as you know, I have been decluttering and I'm trying to downsize. I'm in no way a minimalist, but I'm going with less to simplify my life. Now, one of the items that I no longer use is this jewelry box. I wear much less jewelry than before because of COVID and also in general. And these are actually great for craft supplies and embellishments. I actually quite often feel like taking my work to different locations around the house just to break the monotony of sitting in the same spot for hours. And if you're like me, then you need to take a jewelry box like this and turn it into a stationary box. I love working at the dining table as it gives me the room to spread out my papers while I'm researching. I also do a lot of brainstorming at night before I sleep. So I like being able to take notes or review them and this makes it so simple. Now this box is not meant to be a mobile office, it's just your mobile writing kit. So this particular box is well finished. It's also very sleek, making it an ideal size to carry around. Let's start with pencils. I really like writing comments and notes in pencils, so pencils first. I think this is a meant to be kind of project because everything is fitting so perfectly. I'm adding my solitaire pen in rose gold instead of my usual gold one you have seen. And I'm also adding two pens with crystals. Uh, this one has got colored crystal and this one is clear. So I'm currently using both of these. So I'm going to put those in here as well. And by the way, all these three pens are from Typo. I've also added a long ruler which actually folds into a half length one. And I'm truly amazed how well everything is just fitting in. Next are my washi tapes. Now I'm currently using these two. I'm all in with the blush and golden white vibe at the moment. I just, I'm, I'm just really in for those colors. So I'm using these in my journal as well right now. So having them here is really very handy. All right, now for some essentials. I always keep a measuring tape handy. I, I just stare into blank spaces and then I get these ideas. So I start measuring. Uh, that's what I always do. That's just me. So keeping one here is very practical for me. And then I have a mini stapler. I'm working towards improving my filing system and habits. And I'm taking charge of any and all paper clutter in my home. I'm literally doing a document revamp to get our matters in order. So having these little things handy helps me create good habits like stapling things together, clamping a project, and generally keeping it organized right away. I have this glue stick mainly for my journal, sticking things in, of course. And anyone who loves using pencils, of course, has to have an eraser. So on this side are my paper clamps. I have two sizes here, which I use depending on my stack of paper. I always clamp my notes together when I'm done in proper order so I don't lose vital information, notes, or just confuse my thought process. I have these gigantic paper clips which fit absolutely perfect in the ring section. As I said, everything is just falling into place. I do love my paper clips, and so I also have a few gold ones right here. Back to rose gold, a few more paper clips, smaller ones. And then I have these bush pins, which are also in rose gold and uh, clear. It's very easy to pin a note for the family when I have these available. Recently, B and I swapped my gold accessories with her rose gold ones. So I gave her my gold uh, stationery and she gave me this box. I also have these two tiny bookmarks, which are great for marking pages while reading. In this empty section, I have added an inspirational coat in the same color tone. The reason this is empty is because I'm hoping to get some small post-its for this space. However, till then, I've added some corrector tape and a little box that says her ladyship stuff for my extra staples. Stop press announcement. I found exactly what I wanted. In fact, it's better than what I had imagined. I found this little booklet of post-its in a variety of sizes and in colors I am definitely into. So I have removed the corrector tape. I can do without that. 
And the super find goes right in here. It even fits perfectly. And the colors are so perfect. And there you have it. It's a beautiful, sleek, mobile box of stationery. I can carry it anywhere. And let me tell you, this looks so elegant on the office desk. Or you could even use it in your meeting room. Just imagine having a meeting and you have all the stationery set up this way. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and will repurpose items in your own home. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And until the next one, this is Ravina saying, Happy homemaking.